In this four-year period, and indeed in this Parliament, overall spending on flood defences has gone up. Milliband. Mr Speaker, I'm afraid that the figures the Prime Minister is quoting are phony, and I believe he knows it. How is it that politicians are always able, as if by magic, to find statistics to suit their case? Revealing the Westminster Inner Circle's tricks, Newsnight presents to you Lessons in Illusion. The first trick is vanishing inflation. The sleight of hand here is that ministers hope you won't notice that money loses its value over time. If you listen to one of them for long enough, you might hear them talk about protecting a budget in cash terms. That's a thing they say when they can't say they're protecting a budget in real terms. That is to say that they're increasing the budget faster than inflation. If you protect a budget only in cash terms over this parliament, that could mean you're actually cutting it by more than 10%. The second trick is apples and oranges. This piece of conjuring is very simple, but very powerful. What you do is you compare two numbers that seem to talk about the same thing, but aren't really the same at all. Take the case of Chris Grayling. Back in 2010, he produced statistics that seem to show a rise in violent crime since the 1990s. But in truth, statisticians knew it had fallen. What Mr Grayling was exploiting was the fact that the police changed the way that they record crime. So they recorded more of it. That was one trick that didn't quite come off. <laughs> For their next trick, the amazing moving goalposts. This is where governments just change rules when the data doesn't suit them. Take the case of Gordon Brown. He set himself two fiscal rules. Those are rules that are designed to show that he was a prudent custodian of the public finances. But when one of them, the Golden Rule, didn't suit him, he fiddled with how it was worked out and the definitions of the data, and then finally just changed the years over which it would count. For their next trick, junk research. Ministers can just commission dodgy analysis. Cambridge University recently opposed plans to change the AS level, presenting real research that showed it was helpful. Whitehall officials simply cooked up some nonsense numbers of their own in retaliation. And finally, just lying. Well, you know how that works, but even so, they do a lot of it. Take the case of the Liberal Democrats who claim credit for a doubling of our offshore wind capacity since 2010. Well, that did actually happen. We have increased our offshore wind capacity, but it's all because of policies that took place under the last government. Everyone involved in politics says they want more evidence-based policy. But if we're going to have that, we need everyone involved in politics the politicians, the lobbyists, the charities, and, and the journalists to just be a little bit uh, straighter when it comes to statistics. <laughs>